Okay, so if you remember uh, about 358 years ago, I did a corrosion test on the downpipes. Those downpipes kind of fell apart, not because of corrosion, but structurally at the weld it came apart and I had to get them replaced uh, on the MOT. So I haven't forgotten about that. So I've got all the gear in the bag here. I'm gonna show you what I've brought along. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that test now. It's gonna be maybe a week or two weeks when we finally get the answer. But let's show you how we're gonna do it. Let's go. Okay, here we go. So let's show you what I've got. This is a reminder of uh, the products that I was gonna use on that test. Actually, no, I did use them, but we didn't get to a conclusion because like I said, the pipes kind of uh, fell apart. So, we're gonna go with ACF 50, okay? Which I think is gonna be the winner on this test, but you know, let's give the others a fair chance. S-Dock Corrosion uh, Spray. And good old fashioned WD-40, which I've seen people use for anti-corrosion. But I think out of the three, it's probably the weaker in that respect. It's not its primary use, you know. Right, so, like I said before, we did it on the exhausts. Um, that no, that no longer applies. So we need to find out a new way of doing it. And I've been checking out some vids on YouTube. And what some guys do is they get um, three or four, depending on how many products they're testing. And then they put it into a tub of salt water. The reason they do that is because it accelerates the um, corrosion, corrosion basically, it speeds it up. So you could actually leave it outside and just leave it on a step and wait for the rain to come and then you know let the elements kind of slowly do their thing but by putting it in salt water you speed up that whole process and you get to a result quicker okay so here's what i did first of all i've got some salt i'm going to add to the water obviously that's that i'm not going to be doing any cooking today and what i've done is i've bought myself four bolts and then what I've done is I've attached them to a bit of plastic and I'm going to spray whatever product it says on there so in this case that's the S-Dock we've got the WD-40 bolt and basically I've put a little uh, bolt underneath there to keep it on uh, we have got the ACF 50 bolt and finally this one which I actually didn't see a lot of people do. This is an untreated bolt. So I'm not gonna put any corrosion protection on this one. Uh, the reason being is, how are you gonna know what these products are protecting those nuts from? I mean, how bad does it get? And how good are these products of stopping it getting it that bad? So the untreated one, uh, obviously it's gonna be the worst out of the lot. So we can use this as a kind of measure to how bad the corrosion gets and how well it is protected from it. Let's just get cracking. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is um, put, actually no, the first thing I'm going to do is give this water a stir because obviously the salt is sitting at the bottom and it's not dissolving properly so I wanted to get it uh, all diluted so I'm going to give that a quick stir First one that's going in is the untreated one. I want to get these other ones out of the way whilst I spray these. So this is the WD-40. Get it nice and coated. 
all over and on the little nut as well. That's WD-40 going in. Next one, we're going to do the S-Dock. Finally, get out of the shape. It's an ACF 50. to be covered, I don't want anything else to be covered. Okay, actually let's get the tissue. Just so you know. That's it, and that's going in. Billy, don't drop it. Why would I choose a glass container and not just a plastic bucket? I don't know. So there we go. So I'm going to leave that in this room here. There's something bubbling away in there already. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave that in here and my one concern is I used a sharpie to mark down what I was using and that sharpie is beginning to run. Now if it disappears altogether I won't know, I won't know what's what. Ah, bloody hell. Let me show you what I mean. It's only been in there two minutes. Uh, well, you know what? Trial and error, we'll just see how this one goes. And uh, if it completely disappears, and we'll have to just void the test and do another one, and I'll just scratch it in. Uh, to the plastic anyway that is it just a quick one thank you very much for watching and we'll do a catch up on this next week hopefully it'll be all right fingers crossed all right guys Eddie, i'll see you later on bye